guys, today I'll be singing one of the most downhearted songs I know. It's Love Will Tear Us Apart, originally performed by Joy Division. It was written by Ian Curtis, who was the frontman of the band. The song sums up how he felt when his marriage was collapsing. He died very young, at the age of 23, by committing suicide. The phrase, love will tear us apart, was inscribed on Jan Curtis's memorial stone. Shocking, uh, isn't it? If you're interested in learning more about him, I highly recommend you uh, to watch the unforgettable biographical film Control, directed by uh, Anton uh, Corbein, who worked with Joy Division as a photographer. by love and now it's grammar time love love will tear us apart again in this line we use will to make a prediction as we can see we don't change the form of the verb that's what i love about the structure of the future symbol we also can see the negative form of the future symbol with will in the song and resentment rides high, but emotions won't grow. As you may have noticed, want is a shortened form of will not. It's commonly used in spoken English. For example, I hope I won't freeze to death tomorrow. That's my prediction, uh, at least. I know that English could drive you crazy because of uh, all of the exceptions, but there's a rule that actually works and a lot of students forget to apply it. Uh, it's adding the S ending to the verb uh, after subject in the third person. 
he, she, it, and singular subjects. There are a lot of great examples in the song. Uh, when rooting bites hard and resentment rides high, uh, gets a taste in my mouth as desperation takes hold. Uh, stay cool but not cold and keep singing songs with us. Uh, if you feel you need to practice your listening skills, watch our video where Peter tells what he thinks uh, about our terrible Ukrainian winter and it's awful weather. So guys, uh, make sure to keep your feet warm and I'll see you next week.